Oh my god, I'm sorry, but you're watching these? You know they're nothing like the books, right? They leave so much stuff out. Also, they do this thing where it's like the perspective will just abruptly switch from one location to another. Do you know what I'm talking about? What? What we see will go from just like the shot of a castle somewhere to like two people talking. Are, are you describing a jump cut? It's so weird how they grow up. Like you can't even see them in the books. Also, the books are a lot longer than this. This isn't even like one page. What? They cut out all the stuff explaining the Marauders, but they still had time for like nine minutes of just names at the end? Are you talking about credits? The least they could have done was include the page numbers. After the second movie, why do they do that to Dumbledore? Do what? He's like a different guy. Just so used to the words. Daniel Radcliffe. Uh-huh. Who is that? So if they're all actors, where did they find Dobby? The About the Author section was my favorite fucking part in that book, and they cut it? Oh. This was not in the books. I'll still never understand why they did Dobby that way. What do you mean? You see him there? And now he's just fucking gone? He's still there. Where did he go? Did he die? Dobby disappeared. You saw that, right? In the books, Harry has green eyes, but in the movies, he's multiple still images played rapidly to simulate motion. I mean, what? What were they thinking? Okay, he's good. 